Alright guys, I know it's been a while, and y'all are all probably wondering like why I've posted in so long, but I've been really busy with work and uh, truck things, but today I've got a really good video y'all are going to be excited to see what I've done in the truck. I'm on my way to my friend's Cameron's house. He's got a truck pretty similar to mine. It's kind of like the leveled version of my truck. He's on 35 inch mud grabs. Anyways, when we get there, I'm going like, to do a show round of the truck. Yes, I got it lifted. I'll tell y'all all about what I got done to it. I'll pick y'all up whenever I get there. And one more thing, I added three more rock lights to the truck, and at night time it, it's actually pretty bright now. Uh, so I'll, I'll wait till this evening and show y'all like a clip of that and uh, show them all. But yeah, I'm, I'll update y'all when I get there. All right, so I'm at Cameron's house. That's his truck. He's got a three inch level and uh, mud grabs. Here's the lift that I haven't showed on YouTube yet. It's a four inch rough country, but I ended up stacking. Uh, they actually turned out where my angles weren't too bad. Uh, four inch uh, right here, four inch, and then the three inch. And then I kept the two inch spacers. I also got some new rock lights. I'll show y'all later this evening. And then a toolbox. I had to get a toolbox and then drop pitch now. It's a little bit taller, obviously. And uh, I had to order new decals because as you can see, toolbox covered it up. I'll give y'all a little soft profile look. So it's it's basically like the same as it already sat, but just taller. Like it's, it still leans a little bit, but it isn't squatted for sure. So yeah, that's what the side looks like. I'm really happy with it. Y'all couldn't tell, I paint matched a few things. Uh, I got the mirrors done. There's all sorts of mud on them, but, and then also the front bumper pads right there. I need to do that front tag plate. That's how it sits compared to a three inch level. But his truck, it came a long way from what it did look like. He's built it pretty good. And uh, that's the same height mine used to sit for, or used to sit as. So that's comparison, I guess. It definitely sits solid. It sits at seven inches in the front. Mine does. That's, that's about it. All right, guys, so it's not time now. I was gonna show you all my, my rock lot set up. So while I was new, you know, I already had one in each fender, but I added one down there on the front cross member and the way it's mounted so I, I bought magnetic rock light mounts and I just ran it right there on a piece of metal on the frame I think and there's my cross member that shines on it and then like I said you know I have more in each uh, fender but I also added on each side I added one right here on the frame there's the other one over there if you can see it but one on each side right here and it just shines down kind of under my steps, under my truck, you know. And uh, here's my other one that's up in there. So, like I said, there's one on each fender, and there's one on each under each step, and now there's one in the cross fender. So, there's a total of seven rock lights now. That's how I've got them ran. That's what they look like. And they're pretty bright at night, like, I really like it. And I think I've showed y'all my switch setup a few times, but I'll show y'all again. Don't mind how dirty everything is, but yeah, like I said, it's it's ran under my firewall and then, uh, it's tucked up through here, and then it's just right here, it's glued, it's kind of fell a little bit. So that's the setup for my rock lights. And then I also thought mission would be my go lock, so uh, turn it on and off with this remote, obviously. And it's pretty bright, as y'all can see. Uh, and it's completely rotatable. Anyways, turn it on, turn it. I can see it'll light up the whole, the whole woods and take it up and down if you want to. But yeah, I love this thing so far. It's one of the best add-ons for sure. And it looks pretty cool too at night. Like I said, it probably won't be in this video, but uh, I got new details coming in. Should be here in the next day or two, but that's my new toolbox. So. I went with the UWS, United Routing Services Toolbox. I got it off Marketplace, pretty good deal. And then, uh, I think I showed it earlier, but my new drop hitch too. I really like it, so. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. Got it at Walmart for a few years. Like I said, that's, uh, everything I've got on the truck right now. At night, it's kind of a spaceship. I've been thinking about some wheel lots, but honestly, I don't know if I need any at this point. I'm not really thinking about getting lobs or what they call reps or whatever. I'm just, I like the, the graps and the bubble setup. I'll probably wind up buying a set of 37s or something later on for this truck now that it's bigger and it can handle it. So yeah, just make sure you comment and tell me what y'all think about the new lift and the setup. And I'm about to also make a video on the foreman this week. 
I know I haven't been posting much, but I'm about to start posting a lot again. The driving season should be coming up in the next couple months. Like I said, just comment what else y'all want to see me do with the truck. That's going to wrap it up for this video. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time.